The Hive is designed to be a very, very flexible framework to do research in all areas and it's limited only by the imagination of the researchers. The Hive was inspired by a building I saw at uh, the Lawrence Berkeley Laboratories in California where they're building a building to do some research for industry. And I thought it'd be really nice to have a building like that, but looking at, at slightly uh, earlier stages of technology, technology readiness, so TRL 2345. In parallel, I've been doing some work with the Science Museum, and I chatted them up, and I've managed to persuade them to give me access to a hectare of land uh, on their site, which is a fantastic site from a building research point of view because it's very exposed. I then uh, went to the EPSRC, the Engineering and Physical Sciences Research Council, to ask them for some funding to build a research building. They've agreed to give me the money, uh, so I've had just about a million pounds to build the building and operate it for three years. The building was uh, opened in September uh, and I am now starting to populate it with uh, research programs so that within the next two years we'll be self-funding with research programs paying the cost of operating the building. It's at the very early stages at the minute so we're only literally it's only been a month since we opened but we've already got a number of projects that are in place and a number of projects that are going to go into place. One of the projects that's in place is, both, is using both the Hive and the Building Research Park where I've got five uh, experimental buildings plus uh, one panel in the Hive uh, and that's a European funded project designed to uh, enlarge the market for a very novel panelised prefabricated construction solution which is very very low environmental impact so it's made with uh, bio-based materials which produces something which actually has a negative carbon footprint. So this solution allows us to build a, uh, buildings which are very, very low environmental impact. They meet passive house standards, so they're, they're using less than 10 kilowatts per metre squared per annum. So very, very low environmental impact. Apart from these little uh, cells, which is where the concept of the hive comes from, so they're all individual cells. We've also got a flood cell, which is designed to allow us to construct uh, a, 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 an envelope and flood it. Uh, and while it's being flooded, before it's flooded and after it's flooded, we can be uh, imposing loads on it to see how the uh, structure is resisting uh, loads, how its, uh, its performance changes uh, through flooding. When, when the flood has gone away, we're looking at remediation techniques. How do we dry it out? What is the best way of drying it out? What ways do we dry it out which are going to have less impact on the, uh, on the, the, the envelope? These are the sorts of things we're, we're trying to do and we've developed resources which will allow us to do that in, in controlled ways. We're doing the sort of more basic research and once we've got an understanding, we can pass that knowledge on to industry that can develop them into products which can then take them out into the market. So it's a, a necessary step between uh, research that we do in the laboratory and actually putting it into the field. We need to take it to full scale, understand all the implications of what's going on and debug it before it goes out uh, to industry. I want uh, the Hive and the Building Research Park to be an international facility, a, a worldwide centre of excellence for research into construction, into resilience of construction, into uh, low impact construction. So I'm looking for researchers not just from the UK but worldwide to come and use our facility so that we can really make a difference in the future. The Hive is designed to be a very very flexible framework to do research in all areas and it's limited only by the imagination of the researchers and if they come up with an idea we can develop a solution to researching it.